Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is about a pilot union warning against you becoming a pilot. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Pilot Union Belva from UK actually released a press statement and it was out in the, the Guardian in the beginning of November stating that you should not become a pilot for the foreseeable future and let me just read some quotes from actually from the news. The Pilot Union Balfour has warned prospective pilots from starting any training courses saying they would be left with huge debts and no prospect of employment. And this is also said, Balfour said it was an extraordinary step for them to issue the warning but it would be irresponsible and not to act. What are your thoughts about actually Palba issuing this kind of warning and putting it in the press? Well, I think it, it goes down the line. Nobody has a crystal ball, but mm -hmm. everybody would like to sort of keep really, really optimistic. And this is like, I think uh, it's really strong message from a union to go out and say, do not become a pilot. And obviously they have looked at some statistics about how many pilots are unemployed and everything. And I think what is interesting is that it kind of goes against what the flying schools are saying at the moment, because they are saying that, well, indicating that it may be a good time to start becoming a pilot because in two years uh, you have a realistic chance of getting a job. But do you think that that's actually part of the reason why the union has actually stepped out and said, you know, don't become a pilot because the schools are actually saying, yes, become a pilot? I think when Balpa goes out to something like that, it's like to just say, well, the, the state that the industry is in at the moment, mm -hmm. just hold your horses a little bit because things are not looking very promising. Well, I think that's what they're saying. And uh, they're also throwing out some numbers that we don't know where the numbers are coming from, but they say that there's about 10,000 pilots unemployed in Europe and 1,600 alone in the UK. And, I have a feeling that that number might be higher, actually. Yeah, well, this is the thing. When you go to on the Balba's website, they say that uh, they present, was it eighty five percent of all the UK pilots? No, yeah. They, oh, okay. I don't know. So the Balba website says that they have about ten thousand uh, members they represent, which mm -hmm. equates to about eighty five percent of all UK pilots. And then if you actually look at it from a math point of view, if 10,000 is 85%, then 100% is about 11,800. Yeah. And then they further say that 1,600 are unemployed. So that's about just... 10%? Over. Yeah, and that's why I think that's that might be a little bit low. And and I think we were just discussing, you know, what, yeah. what, how do you class an unemployed pilot? Is that a pilot that has taken a job as a bus driver? Does that count as uh, being unemployed? Or is it unemployed in a pilot job? Yes. Yeah, I would like to know when you are looking at the employed and unemployed pilots, does it count if you are employed but you are a bus driver? Yeah, exactly. So I think to go down the lines of what Balpa is saying is that they're saying now is just not a good time to, to enter the industry. Um, but I think it's an important message to also understand that they're not saying don't ever become a pilot. They're just mm -hmm. saying slow down. Well, I have to give some criticism for Balba uh, because I went on their website and there is on the front page, there is a button become a pilot. And when I heard about the news, I was like, OK, I go to the website and where I can see the press release. Well, I went to, I was like, okay, it's about becoming a pilot. I clicked the become a pilot button and there's nothing. So Balba thinks it's important to communicate that do not become a pilot, but at the same time, they actually don't put it on their own website under becoming a pilot. Okay, so what is the opposite? The, the website has not been updated yet. That's what you're saying. Well, I think they have had quite many days to update. They don't even have a link for the press release. Oh, okay, okay. I would understand if you have a link for mm. the press release, okay, this is what we think at the moment, but there's okay. nothing. Yeah. Okay, I see your point. So, so maybe, maybe Balba, really, a little but... bit of feedback, update your website. So yes, actually absolutely. when it says becoming a pilot, it's in line with your press statement. Uh, but I think, um, what do you think about the advice in general? Well, actually I would like to read something from the website. 
Okay, so just reading from the Balper website, we urge potential pilots to get experience in another profession first, which will postpone any training until the industry is in a more robust shape, provide additional skills and experience, and also give them another avenue to fall back on. For anyone that still wants to proceed, they should consider the modular training route, which does provide the opportunity to learn and work in other fields. So basically, that's what we have been selling on the channel. Like, I think we, it was the one yeah. video about where yeah. we talked about becoming a pilot in 2020 and 21. I will try to link it somewhere up there. Yeah. And um, I think there is some things that we can slightly disagree with Balba. Mm. Is that if we look at someone who is in their 40s and oh, yeah. they want to become a pilot. So... Someone in their 40s is adult and can make a little bit more calculated risks. It's maybe a person who already has a career and education. And maybe they already have also the money for the pilot training. Mm. So I think if we have a person who already has the money to do the training, they already have some kind of career behind them, so they easily have something to fall back on. And because they're older, I think they're... They can maybe do better decisions than someone who is 18. So I think it's like but, a calculated risk. So if you're older, you really don't have time. Hmm. But you also have already what Balpa is saying, that yeah. you should try and get another avenue to fall back on. So I think, yeah, m maybe the, the advice of mm. delaying your pilot training, if you are like, I want to, don't want to put an age to it, but let's do, just say a number, 40, and, uh, and you have the money... Uh, mm. Yeah, maybe you could actually now do your training, yeah. but just be prepared to when you have your license, you probably have to fall back to what you did before you started training. So I, I think, yeah, it, it depends on where you are in your mm -hmm. life. Uh, yeah, so for young definitely. people, I couldn't agree more with Balpa, you know, probably get another avenue to fall back on. If you're a little bit more mature, you've had some life experience, you may have mm -hmm. some contacts. I wouldn't say necessarily don't go for it, but just be prepared for a really, really tough market where it might take years to get your job. Yeah. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video and please carry on the conversation down below. What do you think of the Balvin's announcement, do not become a pilot? And we hope you liked the video, so please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.